Welcome to the Warlords of Draenor basic raid prep series by LOS Gaming. Today in our line of sight are the Twin Ogron. These dimwitted twins have been sent to keep you from reaching their master's chamber. Let's review how you can avoid being squashed and proceed with your assault on the Citadel. Although these two giants have much in common, they even share the same health pool, their individual skill sets are very different. They both have an energy system so you can track when their abilities will be cast. Femus, being the more aggressive of the two, prefers dual wielding and is more dangerous. Your raid's positioning will mainly be determined by Themis' abilities, so be sure to keep your eye on him. He will throw his two weapons into the ground at opposite points around the circle and begin to cast Quake. Fire will emanate from the weapons and move towards the center of the room. Moving the other boss behind one of the weapons will save you from having to dodge two sets of fire. Getting hit by fire will apply a stacking debuff, so it's important to dodge the fire, even if it means a little DPS downtime. The Femus Dance is created by his next two abilities, Whirlwind and Enfeebling Roar. Prior to Whirlwind, your raid will need to move away from him. It has a massive area of effect, so make sure you are away before he casts it. The Femus Tank will need to have a cooldown ready for the Whirlwind. A little while later, he will do an Enfeebling Roar, which will increase the damage taken of those affected. The amount and duration of the debuff will be shared amongst all those within 20 yards, so it's important for your raid to collapse on Femus before this is cast. The fight is basically won if you can dodge fire, move away from Whirlwind, and collapse for Enfeebling Roar. Paul's spellbook is not nearly as dangerous, but mixed with his brother's abilities, they can cause some issues. He will target a distant player and shield charge them. On his way there, he will knock up anyone in his path and slam his shield down doing AoE damage. Make sure to get out of the way if you see a massive mountain of muscle looking your way. He has an interrupting shout which you will need to cancel your cast for. Getting silence for 6 seconds is no fun. And finally he will pulverize the ground, initially causing each player to deal damage in a 3 yard radius which you will want to spread for, after which a few chunks of the ceiling will fall, followed by a massive chunk. Just be sure to move out of the way. Keep up with the steps in the Femus Dance, avoid unnecessary damage, and you'll teach these bluke wannabes a lesson. This has been Tovo and Tatva with 2 Minute Tips by Line of Sight Gaming. Please like and subscribe and come visit us on our different channels linked below.